Have the Green Bay Packers lost yet another talent who could have blossomed on the team? The news that former Packers defensive end Jonathan Garvin has been signed by the San Francisco 49ers raises that question. Garvin, who had a low-key stint in Green Bay, has found a new opportunity to prove himself in the NFL after a standout season in the United Football League Uffle. Did the Packers underestimate his potential? This article takes a deep dive into Garvin's career and examines the Packers' decisions that led to his departure. Can the former star shine in San Francisco, or was his departure from Green Bay justified? Follow this fascinating story and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like so you don't miss out on the latest Packers news. When analyzing Jonathan Garvin's departure from the Green Bay Packers, an inevitable question arises, why did the team choose to release a player with the potential to grow? Garvin, who was selected by the Packers in the seventh round of the 2020 draft, was always seen as a developmental prospect. However, despite his limited opportunities on the field, the defensive back failed to establish himself on the Green Bay team, which eventually led to his release. During his time with the Packers, Garvin struggled to find his place. He played just 18% of the defensive snaps in his rookie season, a percentage that doesn't lend itself to much visibility for a developing player. Even the following season, when his share increased to 39%, Garvin still failed to make the impact he had hoped for. Things got even worse in 2022, with a drop in both snaps and on-field production. The Packers, like any NFL team, are constantly challenged with balancing patience in developing their players with the need for immediate results. In Garvin's case, the balance seemed to tip toward impatience. The decision to release him in 2023 raises questions about how well the team is identifying and developing talent that can contribute significantly in the long term. With the signing of Jonathan Garvin by the San Francisco 49ers, a new chapter in the career of the young defender opens. The move to the San Francisco team is a chance for Garvin to rediscover his potential and prove the Packers wrong in underestimating him. The 49ers, known for their strong defense, could be the ideal environment for Garvin to finally prove his worth in the NFL. The 49ers need to bolster their defensive line, especially after Drake Jackson's injury, has created a perfect opportunity for Garvin. On a team that values the ability to pressure the opposing quarterback, Garvin could find the space and opportunities he lacked in Green Bay. Additionally, Garvin's recent experience in the UFL, where he had a standout season with 19 tackles and 3.5 sacks, could be an indication that he is ready to take on a more significant role. The 49ers aren't just signing a player to fill a void. They're bringing in someone who's hungry to prove himself. Garvin will have to compete with other talented players, but San Francisco has a history of developing underrated defenders. For Garvin, this is a golden opportunity to turn a career that started modestly into something much bigger. Jonathan Garvin's run with the Green Bay Packers raises the question of whether the defensive back was truly exploited to his full potential during his time with the team. When the Packers drafted him in the 2020 draft, there was hope that he could develop into an effective pass rusher, but the opportunities afforded him were limited. The question remains, did the Packers give Garvin all the chances he needed? Garvin, who appeared in eight games in his rookie season, saw little action on the field, participating in just 18% of the defensive snaps. For a rookie, that lack of playing time can make it difficult to develop and adapt to the professional level. Even in his sophomore season, when he played in 16 games, the lack of consistency in playing opportunities continued to be an issue, although he showed some improvement with 1.5 sacks and 19 tackles. Looking back at Garvin's third year with the Packers, the drop in his production is clear. Playing just 23% of the defensive snaps, Garvin seemed to be falling behind in an increasingly competitive defense. This decrease in playing time and production could be seen as a sign that the team was losing confidence in his development. However, it's hard not to wonder if this lack of confidence was premature, especially in light of his recent awful performance. After being released by the Packers and unable to find another team in the NFL, Jonathan Garvin found a new opportunity in the United Football League Uffle, where he signed with the Birmingham Stallions. This move was a turning point in the defensive back's career, allowing him to demonstrate what he could do when given playing time and trust. In the Uffle, Garvin had the chance to play consistently and was able to showcase his skills at a level he might not have achieved in the NFL. With 19 tackles and 3.5 sacks, he established himself as a reliable pass rusher, showing significant improvement in his game. This performance not only reaffirmed his talent, but also caught the attention of NFL teams, culminating in his signing by the San Francisco 49ers.
Garvin's success in the UFL raises questions about the role of alternative leagues as a development space for players who don't find opportunities in the NFL. For Garvin, this experience may have been just what he needed to gain the confidence and rhythm needed to compete at a high level. Now that he's back in the NFL, he'll have a chance to apply what he learned and prove he deserves a place in the league. The San Francisco 49ers' decision to sign Jonathan Garvin indicates that the team sees potential in the defensive back that the Green Bay Packers failed to capitalize on. With Drake Jackson injured and the need to shore up the defensive line, the 49ers needed an immediate addition, and Garvin seemed like the ideal choice given his recent success in the UFL. The 49ers have a history of developing talented defenders, and Garvin joins a team that already has a strong defensive culture. In San Francisco, he will have the chance to work with some of the NFL's best defensive coaches, which could be crucial to his development. Additionally, the 49ers' tactical structure, which emphasizes constant and pressure on the opposing quarterback seems well suited to Garvin's style of play. The expectation surrounding Garvin is that he can quickly adapt to the 49ers' defensive scheme and contribute from the start. If he can transfer the success he had in the UFL to the NFL, San Francisco may have found a valuable piece for its defense. However, the pressure will be on Garvin to prove that he can be more than a rotation player and that he can actually establish himself as a regular starter. With Drake Jackson injured, Jonathan Garvin was signed by the 49ers to fill a crucial void on the defensive line. Expectations are high, especially considering Jackson recorded 3.0 sacks in each of his first two seasons, along with eight passes defended as a rookie. The challenge for Garvin will be to not only replace Jackson, but also show that he can meet or exceed that level of performance. While Jackson has been a standout since entering the NFL, Garvin has had a more low-key career. However, Garvin's recent UFL experience may have been a turning point in his career, setting him up for the kind of impact Jackson had in his early years. The key for Garvin will be using his experience to quickly adapt to the 49ers scheme and excel in the opportunities he is given. Comparisons between Garvin and Jackson will be inevitable, but Garvin has the advantage of joining a team that already has a strong defensive culture. If he can settle in quickly and excel in his role, the 49ers may have found an effective solution to Jackson's absence. But time will tell if Garvin is ready to take on that responsibility. The Green Bay Packers culture, centered on tradition and team building, is known for valuing the long-term development of its players. However, when looking at Jonathan Garvin's trajectory, it's hard not to question whether the team truly provided him with the opportunities and support he needed to thrive. The decision to release him could be seen as a failure to identify or develop a talent who, in a different environment, could have had a greater impact. Garvin came to the Packers as a promising prospect, but limited playing time and a lack of a clear role within the defense may have hindered his growth. Instead of being put in situations that could maximize his skills, Garvin was often relegated to a secondary role, which limited his development and confidence on the field. Garvin's transition to the UFL and now to the 49ers suggests that the Packers may have missed a chance to tap into the full potential of a player who, under other circumstances, could have become a cornerstone of the defense. The Packers' culture, while successful in many ways, may have been a hindrance to Garvin, and his departure could be seen as an example of how not all talents thrive in a traditional environment. Jonathan Garvin's relationship with the Green Bay Packers has always seemed to be less than expected. A seventh-round draft pick, Garvin entered the NFL with hopes of developing for one of the league's most historic teams. However, that relationship never really blossomed, and there are several reasons for that. One possible reason is the competition within the Packers' defense. With a defensive line full of talent, finding a place to shine was a challenge for Garvin. Additionally, the pressure to perform on a team with such high expectations may have been a contributing factor to his difficulty establishing himself. The competitive environment and lack of consistent playing time may have hurt his confidence and, consequently, his performance. Now, with his departure to the 49ers, it appears that the relationship between Garvin and the Packers has ended before either side has been able to fully explore the potential of this partnership. For Garvin, the move to San Francisco represents a new opportunity, while for the Packers, his departure could be seen as an admission that this relationship never really worked out as expected. Jonathan Garvin is at a pivotal point in his career. With his move to the San Francisco 49ers, he has the chance to redefine his NFL trajectory. The question remains, will Garvin finally shine in San Francisco, or will his NFL career continue to be marked by ups and downs? The answer to that question will depend on a number 
number of factors, including his adjustment to his new team, his performance in training camp, and his ability to excel on the field. His experience in the UFL will be key, but Garvin will need to show that he can apply what he learned in a more pressure-packed environment like the NFL. Expectations are high, and the 49ers certainly hope he can make a significant contribution to the team's defense. If Garvin can adapt and perform well, he could turn his career around and establish himself as a respected defender in the league. However, if he fails to live up to those expectations, his opportunity to shine could slip away again. Either way, next season will be a defining one for Garvin's future in the NFL. Jonathan Garvin's story is a vivid example of the challenges and uncertainties that surround a player's career in the NFL. From his selection by the Packers to his departure and subsequent rise in the Uffle, Garvin's journey has been marked by ups and downs that reflect the complexities of professional football. For the Green Bay Packers, the decision to release Garvin can be seen as a lesson in the importance of providing developmental players with the right support and opportunities. Sometimes talent needs more than just skill. It needs time, trust, and a supportive environment to grow. For Garvin, on the other hand, the move to the 49ers represents a second chance, an opportunity to show that he has what it takes to succeed in the NFL. As we follow this story as it unfolds, one thing is certain, Garvin is determined to prove himself. And as he looks to make his mark in San Francisco, his journey serves as a reminder that in the NFL, a player's trajectory can change at any moment. If you enjoyed this analysis, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments. So, what do you think? Will Jonathan Garvin shine for the 49ers?